Kids are expected to pack on a Belle Isle this morning for the annual Metro Detroit Youth Day. But a lot of folks are wondering if the weather's going to be good for it. Let's go to live uh, live action news reporter Matthew Smith. He spoke with organizers. They're hopeful, right, Matt? Yeah, weather sensitive subject with them right now, but they are hopeful. You can see everybody actually out here right now. They're getting ready for the events. They were ready for the rain, though. They even had the speakers covered overnight. You know, in 20 plus years of having this event, they said they've never had to deal with a weather event. And this event, it does stretch a long ways back. We're actually talking about a pretty tragic event that bred this beautiful thing that they're doing to help these kids out. Three people shot and killed in 1980. They saw that happen and they realized they needed to do something to get a hold of the youth in our city. So we got together and said, well, look, these kids are not getting the right training. Why don't we do something to help make our community a better place? That was the thought Ed Deeb and his closest friends had more than two decades ago. Yeah. Now there's games, fun, and smiles. In fact, this event is the biggest of its kind anywhere in the country. Uh. Oh. Sure, the cross may look like fun, but there's mentoring happening here. Right and wrong is taught. And among all the activities, like this petting zoo, there's been hundreds of scholarships handed out to these kids over the years. This year, Deep tells me that they'll look to honor some 30 people for the work they're doing in our community, changing lives one person at a time. We try to inspire our kids to do the right thing. We want to gear them in the right direction, go to school, get good grades, go on to college and um, come back to Michigan as our future leaders. But in order to do that, first things first, they got to get this thing off the ground. They do have plenty of tents. In fact, if you take a look just down here, you can see they got room to pack in thousands of kids, but maybe not the 35,000 plus they're going to have out here. Right now, we're all kind of waiting on Mother Nature. Everybody hoping, everybody wanting to see this thing get off the ground. So far, seeing a lot of smiles as they set up just off in the corner right now. It looks like things are going good right now. But we'll have to check in with Chris and make sure that's official a little bit later. We're live in Belle Isle this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.